episode of what a horse i see you made it over here yes. in the rain mm -hmm. well i tell you we're going to be on a rush to get all this in so you do your thing then we'll take off we'll be right back after these messages <laughs> Call to Spencer Benedict Stables in Murfreesboro, 270-590-5285 or 270-590-5235 will provide the first step in breeding to one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry, world grand champion Mr. True Blue, a consistent blue ribbon winner with a stud fee of $1,000, or select amateur show pleasure world grand champion El Zaro Star, a constant winner in both open and amateur competition, and has a multi-mare discount with a stud fee of $750. Both of these world grand champion stallions provide championship bloodlines with live full guarantees. Take that first step in adding another world grand champion in the walking horse industry. Make the call and make your selection. I fell in love with Tennessee from the second that I saw it. From the beautiful rolling hills to the beautiful rivers and streams, the ecosystem and the wildlife are awesome here. But it needs constant care, and that means picking up litter and trash every single chance you get. It's totally polluting the ecosystem, totally polluting the natural resources, and it's a big hazard for our local wildlife. Please join NobodyTrashesTennessee.com and join me in keeping Tennessee beautiful and keeping this part of our great legacy. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. All righty, uh, got a couple of announcements. Amateur and Youth Jamboree, June the 7th, over to Cal it, in Champions Arena. Get, contact D. Cantrell, 706-366-1011. And for ringside information, call Chris, ha Chris Hazelwood, 931-215-2255. Start time is 5 p.m. Judge is Dr. David Bullock and Tom Mink. And Walking for Cancer is June the 8th, that's Saturday. Same arena, Champions Arena, call Connie Allen, 931-684-5915. Start time is again 5 p.m. And the judge is Sam Sara. Two great judges, or three great, great judges, judges, really. Tom, yeah. I talked to Tom Mink about judging. He said that he wanted to see how good a job he could do. And that, you know, that goes a lot. David Bullock did a real good job yeah. when he judged so. Can't ask for nothing no better than that. Uh, you and I have talked about this. This industry has lost another super, super good guy. Yep. And there's only one way to describe Bill Williams. He was a gentleman, a country gentleman who supported the industry, loved the kids, loved the horses. He just... Uh, you just couldn't beat him. I'm a proud American and Bill 
Yep, yep, you were right. He's a, he was a real nice guy. Well, here he is when he won his world grand championship and is well deserved. That's a proud American. And I guess that describes Bill Williams about as any, well as any. Yeah. He was a veteran, big supporter of wounded warriors. But he was just an outstanding person. That's all you could say. Born in 1937. He got involved in forces in Germany. Okay. Come back here and live down in Ripley, Tennessee. I'm a proud American. Bill Williams is the owner. He has some nice horses. Oh, he has some super good horses. And he was always, he always bragged about his horses and the Wright Brothers kids. <laughs> now, he, he could talk, sit and talk about them all day long. He's just a super, super good person and he will definitely be missed by this industry. There's no doubt about that. I always enjoy talking to Bill. He, he, he loved to aggravate you. He, he get to you. If he get to you, he, he'd get to you. But he, he will be missed by this industry, that's for sure. Yes, he will. I guess first thing we're gonna do today, whenever CJ pops him up there, is we're gonna do some uh, Victory passes, and this is from the tennis show. They moved the last minute. Yeah. Right here's Tejano, Daniel Smith, for Larry and Elsie West. Daniel Smith, taking home. It's a nice horse. It is a nice horse. That horse is consistent. Um, that young man rides very well. I mean, he presents a horse, he sits up in that saddle. I mean, he can do it like a person's supposed to do. Uh, he does. Now, yeah. he rides the way you're supposed to ride a horse. He, he does not mess around. He does it the way he's supposed to. Yeah. I think it's this horse right here gets tied down sometimes when he, when he really should. Yeah. He just, uh, I mean, that horse is, is doing a show pleasure league, what the show is. pleasure was made, meant to that's, be. That's it. And right here, Hard Eight. Here's another show pleasure amateur winner. Yeah. Skyler's is a real good rider. I mean, she got a, a big background of horse people in her background and uh -oh. stuff like that. I mean, she's Billy Nipper was her grandmother. I remember yeah. she told me a story about Skyler one time. Said she asked Joyce, said, uh, "Why is all these people?" They, they always get them blue ribbons, and I don't. Well, they got better horses. And she looked at Joe and said, well, that's your department, hey? <laughs> <laughs> that's when she's just a little girl. Yeah. She's a lady now. Yes, she is. A real nice young lady. My ticket to ride. Look here, my ticket to ride. I tell you what, Ray, Ray in Abernathy is a, is a super good. You watch the way she rides. Oh, she rides. She yeah. she sits on horse. These last three horses, these first three horses we didn't show it already. All three of them people ride. sit ride very well. Sits up on the horse, well. you know. And, and that's Sandy. what you're supposed to do. Well, Sandy's a good rider. Yeah, she too. is. You, Sandy's a real good rider. She doesn't show as much as, as Ray does, but she is a real good rider. Sandy got a long history of showing horses way back, you know. Ray done real well. She's been showing ever since she was a little kid. Yeah. My ticket to ride. Ray had some good teachers in the background. Oh, that's yeah. coming up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, she's Billy Gray now. Billy Gray. Yeah, you know, she's at Rodney Dix for a while. Yeah. I mean, but all of them taught her. Taught her well. well. They yep. taught her well. All right. We're going to go to the fun show now. Now, the fun show had one well of a show. Yes, they did. had some outstanding classes, great horses. Title defense in Samantha Green for Evergreen Walking Horse Farm. Now this right here, hey, you can't ask for nothing no, no. better than that. That's right. This is auxiliary class. That's a good horse right there, Samantha. She really loves that horse a lot. I mean, every time she get ready to show that horse, she have a big smile on the face. Oh, yeah. I'm so proud for Miss Virginia. I look back, everything. just going back to a lot of videos this morning, and, and title defense has been in that winter circle a lot. Yeah, he has. With some answers. Yeah. Just getting it done, that's all you can say, just getting it done. Jose Showoff and Carissa. 
Hammond. She is she is Tommy and Nancy Mills' daughter. Yeah. And buddy, she she can she can ride a horse. She can set that saddle and get it done. And Tommy got some pretty good horses. He I mean, does, he raised a lot. Real good he got horses. some real good horses. That's I like the horse. names they come up with them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They come up with some good ones. Here's Big John Coffey and Justin Harris for Beasley and Fleming. Four year old stay in Canada. You know, this horse right here, he's got the makings to be in the in the big state. Yeah. Oh, and he really does. He he's got the build. He's a big, bold horse. Has a super good way of going. That horse is, he's a nice horse, too. Justin does a good job of showing him. Train Justin is a real talented horse trainer. Yes, he is. He works hard at it. Oh, anybody you ever see that works hard at it and takes it to heart is Justin Harris. Well, Preach used to call him bobblehead every yeah. now and then. Mm -hmm. he, but he doesn't do that as much as he used to. <laughs> this was a good class. Yes. Gigi's Majestic and Jordan Howe for William Bradford. This horse has won so many championships that it's unreal. You go down and you look at his winnings and where he's won and the classes he's shown in. He's shown a lot and won a lot. Especially with Elsie Bradford. Yeah. Now Elsie has shown him more than anybody has just about. And she is constantly in that winner's circle. Jordan does a great Jordan job. Jordan does showing. a good job showing horses. Jordan raised up in the horse business and stuff like that. Um, that's a nice, that's a nice horse right there. It is a super nice horse. Oh, it walks and shakes behind. And here's a kingpin and Bob Adcock, amateur 15 to an under stallion winner. That was a tough class. Yes, it was. That was a tough class. You no, know, just about every one of them classes during the fun show was was really packed full of good horses. This horse here had won his share of ribbons too. Oh yeah, the ribbons yeah. and stuff. He's, he's been in there and he's been tough. Mr. Bob is a real nice guy. I always like he always greets you with a smile every time he sees you. He, he's always got that smile yeah, on his face does. now. Always got the smile. And he's a, he's a good job. He is a good job. But his job. whole family could ride. Right here, former line and Carol Baxter. I'm going to tell you, th this horse right here is a winner from the get go. He reserved in this class, but now he is a walking for He is walk, walk and shake. I mean, he push and pull. I mean, that's, if you look at it, the, the little mannequin of the walking horse, this is what yeah. you see right here. Yeah. It is. It, this is what we promote. Yeah. This is what you see out on the posters and things. Is a horse like this. The old time you say, if they ain't shaking, they ain't walking. That's it. Here's ladies' privilege. Thomas Derrickson to Missy and Tim Johnson. If you, when you watch it, I was watching this the other day. Different horses, and and you like them, but. A lot of them have a different way of going. Yes. And this horse right here is more showy mm -hmm. than a lot. <laughs> Tom is a young man coming up in this business. Is doing well. Doing very well. And very respectable young man, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's always, if you, if you tell him, give him a compliment, he always thank you and everything else. No, he's, good, he's, good, a good, he's a good, good person. Guy. He raised right. Now. Yes, he was. Jimmer's Tequila Cash. I love that name. Yeah. What's that song? It's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> now Carol's another one that's a real good shower. Yes, Miss Carol is. A she sets a great saddle. She does a good job of presenting her horses. And I want to tell you, a lot of people don't realize this. Carol has been around in this business for a long time. Oh, yeah. And I mean, she see different changes in this horse business. There's a lot of change. Yes. I'm, I was texting back and forth, her private messaging back and forth on the horses this morning. Right here he is, True Blue. I tell you what, right now I'd say he's in the driver's seat for 
for that class oh, yeah. celebration time. That, that, that horse is just, I mean, he's, he's just a, a great horse. Jake and that horse goes together very well. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And he's breeding quite a bit yes. of mare. Jake's is another nice guy, real oh, nice yeah. guy for the good for his industry. Well, when you talk to him, you talk about horses and say something, and he knows exactly what you're talking about. That's right. I like. I enjoy talking to his dad. And his dad's a good, yeah. super good person. Jake is a man that, like, he don't never meet no strangers. He'll no. just come out and just talk yeah. and just hold it. Yeah. I'm Charlie Black. Daddy Smith Harper, Smith and Harper. Tell you what, now that, that pony class, there was no Jimmy. I'm gonna no tell you, class. all these classes that was over there was was a good class. They had a bunch of good classes over there. They're all tough. Yeah. And I mean, you saw some horses that didn't get the blue that you, when you look at them, you say, well, why didn't they win? And then you see a horse that was in there with them and say, well, you know what? You gotta choose, you yeah. gotta make a selection between them. Right, right there, I know Kenny's proud of that. Oh yes, he is. And look here. I don't care what, I, I love this horse. Yeah. I truly love this horse. He is just, he, he's an eye catcher. When he comes in, you, you see him and you watch the rest of them, but you're coming back to him. him. Mm -hmm. You're always coming back to him. You know, that horse was that way when he was a coming, when he was a coming to you. Yeah. I remember at, at Rising Star at that time, yeah. but um, Tony Palomino presented this horse over there as a coat yeah. around that. He was a wild one, but now he come in there using them legs, and you can tell that horse had a future. Yeah, well, you see it. him, and, and it just, the way he's lit up, Mark, you just have to go back and look at him some more. Yeah. Errol Smith. Now this one's close to you. Oh, this is very close to me. I'm so you didn't know you so proud. That horse that good That's either. right. <laughs> when this horse was coming up, I told everybody that this I can look through muddy water and see dry land. I can see a champion, and it came true. Well, he, he's he's tough now, but now he's got a jockey on his back. Oh yeah, he got a good jockey on his back. And that that close that class right there was stacked full of them. a bunch of good ones in there. You know what? You go and look back at one time, I used to own him when he was a baby. You know, but I always thought this horse had a, a lot of talent. He's worth more now than when you had him. Oh, baby. yes, sir, and, I'm, and I hope he I'll does. I'm glad. Well, I'm just letting you know that you ain't buying him back for one. No, 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 no. <laughs> but I always want to sell one and make him do good and make him champions. That's it. Yep. Right here, the Char Queen. She may have been reserved, buddy. She was flat getting it oh, done. Oh, she was. I thought, I mean, I thought she made an outstanding show in that class. She did. I'm gonna tell you what, Baby and Maxine, they do a great job of riding, and if you watch them, they set a saddle. Oh, they set a saddle real well. One of them a little bit more aggressive than the other, as far as riding, but that, both of them, they set that saddle and they get it done. Oh yeah, they do, they do a good job. And make some good cookies. If y'all don't believe that, ask Jerry Yes, Williams. I do, I look for them all the time. <laughs> Here it is, six to 11 winner, I sang Dixie and Ali Joe Jacobs. This horse is very impressive Jacob. over there at the horse show, at the fun show. Hey, she's a big mare too. Yeah. Big mare. Yeah. Ali Joe. She's doing it well. They got her a new uh, equitation and uh, medallion horse. Okay. No, she, she's canning. Yeah. I bet if you can set the saddle. Like you got glue on. Yeah. Right here, old Rocky Top. I'm gonna tell you, this horse right here, love the name. Oh yeah. By the way, we won the region, don't you know that? <laughs> LSU got put out last night, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, I hear you. No, but they, they made a good show, they made a good show. 
but now Rocky I'm, Top. Now Rocky Top, I'm, I'm all Tennessee. Oh yeah, Lily, she's a good little rider. I mean, I just it's another one. Feel like I'm, I got a lot. She can set a saddle good. And she rides. I mean, she can get it done. And Alan and Lori is some real good people. She got good parents. I mean, and that's a real nice horse. And they got some bunch of good horses. Yeah, they do. You just don't see Alan in the saddle. Oh, yeah. You see everybody else in the family. Here's Joe Pa. Porterfield and Burks to the blue, but Shane would rode the hair off this horse. Yeah. So did Tanner, but. I'm gonna tell you, right here's a horse when he's locked in. Now, hey, when he's I like locked a in. Yeah. I like a horse with a, with a big bold flat walk like that right there. Well, he's got it. He does. And I mean he can do it. And it has to do with the timing. Yeah. If you watch, it just, I, I don't care how slow that flat walk is. If it's timed up right, it's the prettiest thing, thing you ever seen. You're exactly right. <coughs> Look at me. Here's Spotlight on Jose. And this is another good horse right here. Real good horse. But proved a lot from last year to this year. Yes. He's great last year, but now this year, he, he, hey, he keeps getting better. That's another one that you can see down the road going to do some stuff. Yep. Mm, Callaway's got a bunch of good horses. Oh, yeah, they got I mean, a lot of they, they do a real good job. Bill and John does a, a super job, but they learn from their dad, and their dad was a oh, good yeah. horse trainer. Yeah. I am big enough. You pony winner. Now, buddy, she was getting it done. And that's, that's this horse you talk about all the time about how consistent. Oh, yeah, he's a consistent, I mean, like a sewing machine. I mean, he yeah. just sit there. Every time you look around, he's going to be doing that same gate right there. Walking and talking. Yep. What they say, you got to walk, walk, talk to talk. Mm -hmm. This horse does it both. That name fit him just, in the, just right. Yeah. Maxine does a good job up with him. Yeah. I talked to Beth about it. I said, Beth, I could we come up with what y'all can do? She said, what's that? I said, you got to buy yourself a pony and get in there with them. Yeah. <laughs> now, the, the sisters showed against each other. <laughs> now, Big Enough was in this same class, and I thought she made a, or the country lineman yeah. was in the same class with Big Enough. And I thought BB now made a super good yeah, show, Yeah, they made too. a good show. That's why I, I told Beth, I said, you need to get you a pony and y'all can show in the same class see who's the big dog. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, Jerry, though, you know, if you show against your kids, you, <laughs> and they beat you, then you got to feel like you got to go home with them. <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey, hey. I used to arm wrestle my boys, and when they beat me, yeah. it made me feel good yeah. inside. <laughs> That if I aren't rascal now, they'd hurt me. Yeah. <laughs> and here's for my line. I'll tell you the great part about this. Carol showed this horse. Yeah. Josh come back and showed this horse. All this was within a three-day period. Yeah. Which disproves with the government there. Yeah. Disproves everything the government says about the way these horses are treated, you don't do that. No. You do not do that with a horse, especially a white colored horse like this. That's what gets me. Well, the biggest thing of it is like this, Jerry, how many other breeds you know, you take a thoroughbred, they they race this today and they might be another month before they race again, two months before they race again. That bothers me. My brother in arm was reserved for Missy and Tim Johnson in a tough class. This is your young trainers. And he was in there against some top notch yeah. horses. I mean, good ones. Nice horse. Yes, he is. Real nice horse. Tom, Thomas does a good job. Thomas now. does a good job. Okay. 
he beat what he does. He's, he's in there. Right here, Zorro Jr. I thought, I mean, that's me though. I just thought he made an outstanding show. Yeah. But that's, that goes to show you can't, you can't always pick the ones you think win and they're going to they win. You, they, they can be super good and still not get that book. Yeah. Beth and them, they, Beth got a bunch of good horses. Oh, yeah, she Doing does. the horse she yeah. show and the girl show and stuff oh, like man, that. I mean, she got some, some real you, good you ones. You can't beat what they got. No. All right, I think. Oh, you got to do your job. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> It's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had, since the last time you were here. To old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee Walking Horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now, for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up to host my calls, and there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. You, you were the star attraction over at the rodeo, wasn't you? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I, oh, had yeah. a, I had a wonderful time. I'm going <laughs> to tell you, it was it was fun. Well, they they liked you. I can tell you that. I could hear them screaming and yelling. They <laughs> like that walking horse. Here's your amateur four-year-old stallions. Now, what, what more can you ask for? This, this was a tough class. Real tough class. But the man right there, Robert Dortch, he, he did a super good job. Yeah. So, that Slim Hot. I don't know who come up with that name, but it's a pretty good name. I think they had a bunch of good horses in there. Oh, they did. They had Slim and Hot one. It was Robert Dortch. You had a Hotty Toddy, Gosh Almighty, and Greg Kaiser. My Addiction. Howard Eastridge, just a put real good horse. Yep. I'm Doc Holliday, Chad Apkins. Risk it, Jason, Jason Joseph, Whiskey Row, Chavney Beasley, Jose Silver Legend, Libby Dowd, and Jose Snack Pack, Joanna Mitchell. Snack Pack. <laughs> be good. I tell you what, though, that, that slim and hot is, is a good horse, and Robert has that horse's number. He is yeah. dialed in on him. He presents him well. Does a great job. 
Oh, Robert's a nice guy. I mean, he's he likes showing them horses too. Oh yeah. I mean, yep. he's, he loves showing them horses. They had a ring full of good ones. Yeah, they did. There was no slouches in no, there. No, there was now. not. Look at that high, high was, history yeah. jump. And that's what I like. I like it when you watch a class and you look out there and you, you see one say, God, he's good. And you say, well, there's another one over here. And you go back and forth. It just makes the class that much better. Well, when you win that class like that and you got a bunch of good horses in there, I mean, it makes you feel a lot better than oh, yeah. being the best horse in there and all the rest of them just nothing. Yeah. You know, but I mean, this class right here, you, I mean, it's. Well, when you win a class that's loaded, you load, know you, you can. You can walk out of there with your head held high. That's right. And look at that, that horse. That's good now. Right there he is, slim and hot, Robert Dorch, amateur four-year-old stallion winner. That was look real good. He real put together. Everything yes. pushed up under itself. And he just flat head shaking, yep. walking, getting it done. Swimming hot. I need to ask him who named that horse. Hot enough for a blue ribbon here tonight in the Collective Spring Jubilee. That's Robert Deutsch, the owner of that street for North Carolina. Swimming hot, the blue ribbon winner in the class for amateur riders on four year old stagger. Nice horse. Hey, good win. Did well. Right here's a good one. Four-year-old Marion Gildan Reserve. This horse was purchased. Shane purchased it for his granddaughters to share. Okay. But this hidden gem, Tanner Birch, mighty good show. But now Shane was quick to point out, said that's really my granddaughters. <laughs> I bought that for them. They're, they're gonna be showing it and they'll just have to share it. They'll probably be flipping coins. Yeah. Shane got a bunch of good horses too. Hey, this class right here, I'm telling you, it was a piece of work. Old Troubadour and Allison Armstrong took the blue. Samsung, Karen Calloway was reserved. Power stroke by Jose. That's an example. Susan yeah. Coleman, oh, title man. defense. At Troubadour, I'm gonna tell you, he's Samantha Green. Yep. Dominique Harper Grider. He's honor bound. Claudia Gribble, Adeline Ritz, Jacqueline Way, and Lieutenant Horatio Kane, Alec Blackburn. But, buddy, I'm telling you, old Troubadour. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, that's something. You can look at him. He's, he stands out. Right. And they call it heads up. Heads up. He big, powerful. He is. Right, this is another good class. I'm gonna tell you, yeah, it's a good class. Ain't no slouches in it there. No Multi-time world grand champion in there. But I'm gonna tell you, Allison does a great job. Up Look at that horse. horse. Look at him on that rail over yeah. there. He's way up in the air. I he tell you, it's right there. Yeah. I mean, you, you ain't gonna beat that. Uh -uh. <laughs> good horse right there. Everything timed up, and he's, he's really a miracle. Yep. And he really is. They're nicknaming him in the goat. Mm-hmm. Now she... A big took, horse, too. Yes. It took a lot of guts and determination and a lot of love from Allison to get this. Old Troubadour yeah. and Allison Armstrong, the Watt Auxiliary family member winner Man, with good Old horse Troubadour. Right there. Good horse. Look at there. She is riding, 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 riding now. She is. She's doing a good job. Man. Look at there. I give you chills just watching it on the video. <laughs> it does. Yep. 
I mean, he timed up perfect. That's what I'm saying. I wish I would have been there. Oh. Cousin Bob. He was tough. Right here is Cousin Bob, young trainer, 35 and under, reserve winner. This is another hey. good horse right here. Outstanding horse. You, it, it's hard to beat these horses now. I'm telling you, it's just, it's not easy to beat them. It's just something like that right there. Cousin Bob getting it done. Good. He's real good. Hey, he's real good. Shame to be in there on him before it's over with. Yeah. Now, right here at Amateur Stallion Class, this Friday night, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to say that uh, I picked the winner. <laughs> Mark Juan and Molly Walters. Look at there. Are you talking yeah. about a big, bold, flat walking? Just, I mean, to doing it. Mark Juan and Molly Walters took the blue. My shockwave, Dr. Linda Brogdon, was reserved. I'm the Alamo, Lynn Hickok. Masters Cool Jazz, Glenda Nichols, and special by Jose, Jordan Golden finished out the ribbon. But I'm gonna tell you, I thought that just in all honesty, that uh, Molly just Oh yeah, I mean that that horse right there is. I'm gonna tell you, he's a phenomenal horse. He's a, that's a powerful look. I mean, it, he look just looks powerful the yeah. way he goes. And that's another thing, the way our horses are. Some of them are, are they they not as big and bold as the others. They're more showy. But this right here, I mean, he just look I mean, look great. And I'm gonna tell you, that's a wonderful place to have a horse show at right it there is. too. It's a good place to have a horse it's show. It's a good place to have a horse show. Have a lot of good horses that hit that ring. But that right there, boy, I really got into watching him. Yeah. Couldn't help it. They do a, a good job of working him, training him. Oh, Lord, yeah. He put on a show for him. There's yep. no doubt in that. Amateur stallion winner, Mark Juan and Molly Walters. Just like the way he walked. Gonna be hard to beat in that, yeah. in that class, too. It's going to take some doing to beat her. These classes are going to be some tough classes this year at Celebration. Tell me about tell you. it. When all these abilities. horses start meeting up in the same class, yeah. there's going to be a lot of feelings hurt. But I do like that. Yeah. Molly's a good rider. She, she is a good rider. Saddle yep. good. Youth Pony. Now this was a good one. It's the medalist and Eli Cunningham took the blue. The Megalodon and Wilder Way was reserved. Cole Hunt, Ali Joe Jacobs was third. Kid Curry, Ryder Wright. Greek Freak. I like it, man. Mm -hmm. Greek Freak and Eli Grace Lunksford. Knock on wood, Gracie Collinger and Wallen. Levi Parker finished out the I, ribbon. I'm going to tell you, Eli have turned out to be a super rider. Yeah, he has. He has he, really, he, really. I mean, he he, he always he, been a good rider, but now I'm going to tell you, every time you see him, he just keeps getting better just, and yeah. better and better. Well, he's like a lot of these kids. These kids work at it harder than the adults do. Yeah. I mean, they want to. Of course, they got trainers, you know, preaching in mm -hmm. their ear. But it, it just, they just great. And Eli, Eli's just a good kid. Oh, he is. I'm gonna have to tell his granddad. I think he got it from his grandmother, though. 
He probably did. His grand, his riding his ability. Grand, his yeah. grandmother and his mother. Yeah, his mother. You know, I'm gonna tell him. I'm, you know. Now, nah, Mr. Wilson is a good guy. He always. Yeah, James is the backbone. He's a, he's a, he's a good guy. I always like to but, give him a hard time. But now, he, he, I believe he lets Eli call the shots on yeah. the horses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember he told me one time. He said that's why my grandson wanted. <laughs> he's a Mr. Wilson is a good family man. Oh yeah, he is. We don't want to talk too nice about him though. He gets a big head. <laughs> That Eli yeah, now. I'm Eli's a good rider. He, he is. is. He rides that saddle. Yeah. The medalist. It's the medalist. Eli Cunningham for Wilson Eli and Cunningham. Good horse. Look at him. Setting that saddle, doing the ride, buddy. Yeah. He can tote them roses. It's not his first time bringing some set roses no, out there. No, he's about to lose them though. Super good kid, right he there. He is. <laughs> Open specialty championship. I'm gonna tell you, I can talk all day about this horse. Honor and remembering Dan Waddell took the blue for Kim Lewis. Black Gin Scout and Tim Smith was reserved Shamrock Farm. Stony Brook, Vince Pruitt for Kelly Arrington. And he's Mr. Maverick, John Allen Calloway for Holcomb and Masters. I'm gonna tell you, Honor and Remember made a great show. Gin's Black Scout, so, yeah. outstanding. I mean, that was a battle in there between those oh, two. Oh yeah. And that, that's the problem. You have two great horses in the class now. Mm -hmm. Black Gen Scout, Megan it, it presents him so well. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to look eventually for Honor and Obey to be in that amateur class. I, I just think that Kim, Kim is just going to get the best of her. She's going to have to do it. But now you had you had two super good horses yeah. in there going head to head. That's a nice horse, Dan. Got that's Dan puts a lot of time in on that horse right there. He does. He, he that's does. a good horse. All right, riders. That's another good class, you know. We're not really no big no slouch, no, no, no slouch in there. <laughs> Wasn't no slouch in there. Vince on a real good horse right there. John Allen, all of them. I mean, hey, you had you had some good horses in that class. There ain't no doubt about it. They were tough. Yeah. Open specialty champion winner, honor and remember in Dan Waddell for Kim Lewis. Honor and remember with Dan Waddell. Good horse. That's the problem when you when you have a class and, and you have a lot of good horses in it. There can be only one. Yeah. No matter which way you look at it. And that's the problem. And then you, everybody has a different opinion. You know, when you're in a class like this, though, and you have a bunch of good horses and they can go either way, you can't really fault nobody, but no. just what that judge like at that point in time. That's you know it. what I'm talking about? Well, the judge is going to make the final decision yeah. and there's no appeal. Yeah, you're exactly, you're exactly <laughs> this ain't right. like a, a, a court. <laughs> this, this is it, buddy. Well, you do yours, and then we'll finish out the show. We'll be right back after these messages. During the 2024 breeding season, you will find one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry, I Am Mighty Jose. 
standing at Precious Memories Farm in the heart of walking horse country. Call Daniel Miller at 931-703-5830 to schedule your mare. Breeding fee is $750, live foal guarantee. Multi-mare discounts are available on request. I am Mighty Jose, a consistent winner in both open and amateur competition. So make that call today to start the process of raising a Tennessee walking horse champion. The Tennessee walking horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee walking horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee walking horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee walking horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. More of What a Horse, coming up. All right, welcome back. Well, we got a few more classes to go, but uh, I'm going to tell you, Columbia, they had a good show. Oh, yeah, they had a real good show. And the rain didn't really affect them that much. Uh -huh. That was a good part about yeah. it. It kind of took it easy, and, and that was the main thing. But here is your... The rest of the Spring Jubilee, the Paddock Master, and Kenny Smith. Now, now he is the inventor of the Love Doctor, right? Yeah, he's the yeah. inventor of the I Love gotta, Doctor. I got to remember that. <laughs> now, right there, good judge, good person. I, I really like Kenny Smith. Oh, I do now. too. Now he's all right, but now he's a horseman. He loves the horses. Oh, a good person. Kenny Smith claiming the blue across the board. I mean, he sets the saddle oh, good, yeah. too. He's a good person. And you know, every time I, that's me about people. If you, they treat you the same every time you see them, you know, that's, that, that's a big thing. That's a big thing. Well, right here, amateur ladies, mares in gilding. I love, I love Honeybee. Yeah. <laughs> She's just good. Taylor Walters and Honeybee took the All blue for Molly Walters' family. And this young lady's making a name for herself, Audrey Derrickson, on He's a Lucky Strike. Another yeah. real good horse. She's blue as ice. Lana Wilson. In his honor, Terry Lowman. Miss Stone Cash. Linda Bott. Mr. Lineman, Taylor France. And Wicked Jen, Lauren McGee finished out the ribbon, but it was my honeybee. Look at there. Yeah. I tell you what, that is one fine mare. That is a good mare. Bar none. He's got a good jockey on there, too. Back to the front wall. He just timed up perfectly. Oh, yeah. Molly's had some good ones. Right, lady riders. How long your horses? They got some good horses. Yes, sir. That was another good class. Tell me about it. My honey that honey, 
was in there in some deep water, but oh, yeah. look at there. She just, I don't know, there's just something about that mare. When you look at her, you just, it, 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 she, you keep looking back but, at her. Yeah, that's right. You no, know, she's got that head cocked up there, just a shaking and a walking, reaching. And she's doing it effortless. I mean, just oh, easy I mean, doing easy. it. Easy going, everything. Just gliding right on. Yep. You can tell it's just smooth as it can be. Oh, yeah. Taylor's hardly moving in that saddle. Just one outstanding mare. One of these days, mare going to win the world championship. Yep. And that's a fact. Amateur three-year-old stallions. I love doing this one right here because it's my buddy. Bob Roach, he slips in there and shows every now and then. Yeah. Beach Bomb Bruce and Bob Roach took the blue. Grateful Red, Red Kaiser was reserved. Straight Republican, Kelly Manis, no doubt I am Bob Adcock. And he's Mr. Big Stuff, Dr. Linda Brogdon, Bombay Bramble, Stephanie Elliott finished out the ribbons. But now I'm here to tell you, I'm it so glad me, for that horse right there, for, you know, for Bob. Oh, yeah. He gives me great pleasure yeah. to do this. Oh, Bob sitting up there with that head cock said, yeah, yeah, I'm putting on a good show. I hope my wife's getting this on video. <laughs> <laughs> Bob is a good man, too. Yeah, he is. He's, he's a good dude. Yeah. A good golly man. Bob furnishes us some video when we can't make it yeah. to a show that he's at. Amateur three-year-old stallion winner, Beach Bum Bruce and Bob Roach. He was a school teacher and a wrestler. Oh, okay. He, he's one of the twins. His brother's a good-looking one. <laughs> no, I didn't. You, two good guys right there. Yep, they are. But now, I like this horse. Bob does a good oh, job. Let's take a yeah. look at Beach Bum Bruce. I believe that's his second time to show this year and second second ribbon, second blue ribbon. Yeah, I'm so glad for that horse. I am too. I'm, I'm happy for Bob. He's doing well. I see his mama every day. Is that right? Yeah. That horse's mama? Yeah. That, that one of your foes? Yeah. <laughs> no wonder you over here bragging. <laughs> Amateur 50 and over. Honored in Texas and Bob Adcock takes the blue. Juris, Jeff Smith, Master Cool Jazz, Glenda Nichols, Say Cash, Susan Irwin, Walkabout Charlie, Kim Arnold, the American mobster, Linda Srivner finished out the ribbon. I'm gonna tell you, that Juris, yeah. that's a good horse. It is a good horse. Honored in Texas speaks for itself, son. He can flat walk. But now I, I think Jeff does a good job of them. That jurist is awfully good. But that's what it's all about, competition, right? Oh, yeah. All right, amateur riders, take a deep seat. And that honor in Texas, I'm gonna tell you, is, that's another one of Mr. Bob's horses. And yep. I mean, I tell you, his. I tell you what, he was in there with some good ones. Yeah. Because there wasn't a, several oh, nice ones in there. On there he is. Now. High there, headed. There's one high headed, reaching. Oh, Amateur 50 and over, honored in Texas, and Bob Adcock. I'm going to have to ask Mr. Bob, do you have to look side to side to see over that horse's head right there? <laughs> well, he's uh, head up there high. So. Yeah. Coming down the north rail. Look at there. Bob Adcock, the owner of Dub, honored What more could you ask for? Honored in Tennessee tonight. But he, he putting on the show the going out. Yeah. Give him a nice round of applause. Bob Adcock led us to Savannah. Man, good horse right there. Yeah, he is. All right, and right here, I believe Allie Joe is getting, every time she gets more tuned in on this horse. Yeah. 
Switchblade, Ali Joe Jacobs took the blue. All am I the only one, Riley Nichols. And Prixie Dixie, Harper Grider finished out the ribbons. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. That's a whole lot of horse. Yeah. For a little bitty girl, but like Jake says, she is getting stronger. And the stronger she gets, the better she rides this yeah. horse. Mm -hmm. But now that, that's, that's a great horse, no doubt about it. And she's getting to where she can handle him now. But you knew it was only a matter of time. Oh, yeah. She works at it now. She, doesn't, she works at it. She, she, she doesn't, doesn't take it for granted. No. She's, she's in it for the long haul. Yeah. But she rode clean out from under her hat. She got a big smile on the face. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you this. It tickled her to win that blue, especially because yeah. her and that horse had gone back and forth. So, but she, like I say, she's getting better and better. I watched her show one time where she had class one, but then evidently she, I don't know where she got a little tired or what, and it cost her, but she realized what it was, and that's why she works. That's why this kid works. Oh, yeah. If she, if, she's, if there's a fault, and this brought to her attention, that's what she works on. Well, you were right. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, that was a good show that they had at Columbia. Them, I'm, last two weekends, they had two they, good shows. They had two good shows. Two great shows. A lot shows. of good horses. Yeah. We, we know that we've still got problems with the USDA, but people just need to stand up, pay attention to what's going on, and and the trainers just keep bringing horses. Yes. That, that's the main thing is if you show the world you've got nothing to hide, then eventually someone's got to listen. That's right. They've got to pay attention. And our, to me, now this is me, I believe that we're, we're going to go into a court of law where proof has to be given. And that's what I'm betting on. I'm, I'm betting on the truth being there that do we have a problem? Yes. Is it as major as the USDA and the Humane Society? No, it's not. It's minor. Yeah. We can take care of it if you let us. And we attempt to take care of it, and they say, well, you ain't doing it good enough. You ain't doing it good enough. But nobody can see the problems they're finding except them. Yeah. They're the only ones that can see it, and that's going to some of the top medical veterinary clinics in the United States. So don't tell me. I believe in facts. Yeah, you're right. So don't forget this weekend we got two great shows, two great charities. Looking forward to it. Yes, sir. So we'll see everybody next week. Yep. You're going to say bye? Y'all be safe <laughs> and be careful. <laughs>